But those cars, exact. Do a barrel roll, land it, yes! Welcome to Dirt Rally 2.0. Today, we are gonna be putting our rally or rally cross skills to the test as we jump into the latest and greatest rally game from the guys over at Cody's to see how good of a rally driver we really are. Today, we're gonna be jumping into the career mode starting up from the very bottom. We literally have zero dollars Three cars were given to us and we have to start from the bottom and earn our way to the top. So without further ado, let's jump in to Dirt Rally 2.0. Before we get too far into today's video though, I wanted to mention that I'm gonna be using this thing to play today, an Xbox controller. Fun fact actually, it's actually split pretty 50-50 between people who use controllers versus people who use wheels. Long story short though, in today's video I'm gonna be using the Xbox controller and maybe if we do some future videos on Dirt Rally 2.0, I will jump onto my Thrustmaster racing wheel. Anyways, real quick before we get into the career mode, as per usual, my favorite thing with every racing game, going in and building my character. We've already done that when I came in, I tested the game, make sure it all worked, and I got my settings organized. Today though, we need to jump in and earn some money because you can see we have nothing. The game was actually kind enough to give us three cars to start up. We've got a Lancia Fulvia, a Porsche 911 rally car, which is awesome, and this Opel Corsa rally cross car. Anyways, like I said, we need to start from the bottom and earn our way up. We've got a couple of choices for where we're gonna earn some money. We can go and do career rally, career rally cross, or we've even got some daily, weekly challenges that we can go and do. I think though, because this game's called Dirt Rally, I gotta jump into the rally career mode to start us off. So we're starting us off in Argentina, one of the six rally locations that is currently in the game. It is the brand new one. I, I hope we're racing. Yes, we're racing in the middle of the day. So obviously the, the, the game has dynamic weather. The weather can change full time of day as well. Luckily, starting us off easy as Argentina is one of the most demanding circuits in the game. Anyway, something new for the game, we've got new tires, we've got soft, medium, and hard tire compounds, we've got spare tires which we can carry as well. So let's jump in to our first rally race in Dirt Rally 2.0. I am so pumped. I've obviously played a lot of the other Dirt games in the past. I just want to cross fingers that I don't absolutely wreck the car, which I probably will do, if I am honest. Oh, oh. Maybe not, the Lancia is kind of slow. <laughs> so immediately, you might be able to tell something that I do that's kind of controversial, actually. I actually play this game with no co-driver. I find when making YouTube videos, it gets super annoying to listen to somebody yelling, telling me to turn left, turn right, as I'm trying to talk about the game, or luckily for me, the guys over at Cody's have thought in advance, and they actually give me some heads up at the top of the screen to let me know where I should be going and all sorts of stuff like that. But if I do mess up, I usually mess up on like super, super sharp corners. But again, hopefully we can avoid that today. Okay, this Lancia is honestly so slow. Like I knew they were gonna give us bad rally cars. I didn't know they would be this bad. I say bad, I should say slow. The Fulvia is fantastic. It's just, it's just not fast. Anyways, currently I'm actually leading. Actually, no, wait, I'm in third place by 2.5 seconds. I'm just behind the class leader, so I gotta pick up the pace a little bit and try to, uh, try to get the dub here. I don't know what difficulty I'm playing on. I didn't actually set any of that up yet, so we'll figure that out after the race as well. But yeah, obviously Dirt Rally is a simulation game, so the better driver you are in real life, the better driver you're gonna be in the game, obviously. If you ever watch, like, real rally drivers or real rally cross drivers playing this game, it is ridiculous. They are like wizards when it comes to driving in this game, and I am just leagues, leagues behind them. It's not even funny. Like, as much as I love the idea of off-roading and rally racing, I am so not good at it. It's one of the scariest rally or motorsports, I should say. I just find you are always on the absolute limit of your car, which may not be a necessarily scary thing, but considering there's death on literally both sides of the stage, it's definitely scary. Anyways, let's go little Fulvia, not screw up too much here. We got some cool controls, like we can turn the headlights on and stuff, I love it! There's the line, cross! Oh, 
Did I get the dub? I think I did by 0.6 seconds. No way. All right, stop by the marshal. Give me my time, son. No, no, Se second by two seconds or almost three seconds. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we're on a pretty decent difficulty for us. I mean, I should probably turn it up a little bit just to challenge ourselves. Hey, we get an achievement. Caution, don't cut. Complete a stage without damaging your car. That's a first for me. That's never going to happen again. Oh, and now they've made it a little harder for our second go around. Okay, racing at night in Argentina. I have a feeling this one won't end as well. This this course is also much longer. I think this is like 4.5 or 4.7 miles. Come on, little Fulvia. We've got to make up two seconds. I don't want to damage the car. But I do want to push quite hard. Let's go. I had an old rule in Dirt Rally, uh, like the original Dirt Rally. It's go. It's called go slow and steady and not crash. If you drive slowly, you're going to complete the course. You're not going to blow up your car. And you're not going to waste time sending it into ditches all the time. I have to remember that slow and steady is actually the best way around a lot of these rally courses as I eat the curb. Yo, look at us go now. Now we're picking up that speed. Oh, oh, we bumpy in the Fulvia. Okay, watch out. That was quick though. It says we got like a five second lead. No way. I'm honestly surprised. Please don't end up good. No, recover. Oh, that's an eight second. Pe Just what I was about to say. I'm surprised I haven't damaged the car yet. Like with any game, you got to adjust to the physics and we're getting it now. I'm liking the little Lancia. This thing's dope. There's the finish line right there. Do not crash into the finish line. There we go. Stop by the marshal. Give me my time, sunny boy. Oh. Reverse. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Even with my eight second penalty, we take him down by nearly by nearly 20 over 20 seconds so overall my event time is doing well for me so okay that was the end of like our first day so after after each day in rally racing like there's a certain number of stages they group them all together you do those stages and then you get like a little break and then in your break like you can repair your car so have i broken anything oh i've broken my bodywork i can repair my bodywork this is argentina once again however now we are racing literally in the middle of the night I think it said a 2 a.m. start time. This is when things will probably go bad for us. But come on, little Fulvia. We've been doing well so far. I am having to take this so slow because I cannot see what's coming up. I use my eyes so much in rally racing because obviously I don't have the co-driver. It's like I genuinely cannot see the corners that are coming up. I am way behind. All right, we watch the split times up in the top right. I dropped down to second already. We're not even near the line. We're probably going to be like 10th place for this one, I would imagine. We're in 8th now. Okay, so we're making up some time. Okay, let's keep going. I'm just saying I better get quite the payout after this race. Let's go. We're nearly there. I don't think I've caught up that much time, but I think we're going to be good for the overall stage. Stop by the marshal. Time, please. Yeah, we're second place there. But overall, we get the dub by 19 seconds. No way. Hey, we get an achievement on the ladder. Won your first My Team event. I assume that's got to be it then. Yes, event has been finished. We get the dub in Argentina. Look at that. A big 30 points. I like it. 30 grand for that? That's it. It honestly almost seems more worth it to go and do like events like this. Like, look, this is one stage, a daily challenge. And even if you're in the bottom tier, you get 28 grand. It's garage. So if I want to purchase a new vehicle, let's say like, like my STI or my, I mean, I, they don't have my STI, but they have a similar STI. They got the new one, 250 grand. I mean, that's as similar as you're going to get in this game. 280 horsepower, two liter engine. Manual five speed. Okay, it's it's close. It's as close as you're gonna get. But okay, yeah, cars are expensive. No way. You can buy used cars in this game as well. That is awesome. Well played game. We can also go out and buy a cart. That is awesome. I like that. Guys, say say my engineer. 
If I want you to get better at something, I can pay like 15 grand. I can even improve like my code driver. That's really, really cool. Okay. Nice stuff. Anyways, we've only got 32 grand, 33 grand. I think we got to go and try out a little bit of a rally cross race. Rally cross is a little bit different than rally racing. We've got qualifiers, which we need to do quite well in. And then long story short, hopefully we'll get to a final. So there's also this thing called the Joker lap. You need to take the longer Joker lap once per race. So if you're on a five lap race, you need to go one out of those five laps. You need to go and do the Joker lap. Rev up the little opal and get ready and... Any, oh, any day you want to go green. I'm like waiting, waiting. Like my eyes are getting tired from staying open. All right, well, let's go slide the little opal all the way through. So I've never driven on this circuit. I don't know where we're going. I don't know the course. This is all new to me. Clearly, as you can probably tell. All right, so the Joker lap is down there. That is the longer lap. Let's get out in front of these guys as quickly as possible. We forgot to change the difficulty. We also probably don't want to cut too many corners or we will actually get a penalty. I, I, well, I assume we'll get a penalty, but let's go. How many laps do we have, by the way? Four laps. All right, to overtake one, one guy. I think I'm going to go for the Joker lap this time. Actually, I'm going to do whatever this guy doesn't do. Okay, well, never mind. It doesn't matter now. We got in front of him. Okay, ran wide again. All right, he's going the long or the short way. I'm taking the Joker lap. We got the little jump. I like it. Oh, dear. I should probably look where I'm going, especially on a circuit I've never driven on. This car is so tail happy. It's not even funny. It's got a super, super short wheelbase. It just snaps all over the place. Damn. Okay. I got to figure out my ABS assist, or I should say lack thereof, because... Boy, do I lock him up real easy on this thing. Yo, look at us around there. That looks good. All right. I've, I've turned my hair trigger finger on, so we won't lock up anymore. We're in front of the guy. There we go. That's how you get first place. Just like that in qualifier number one. Two minutes, 47 seconds. So how did everybody else do in the other qualifiers? Because that's the really important thing. Oh my God. Some guy in our race got disqualified. I don't, I don't know what he did. We get 50 points there. Race B. Did we have the fastest overall time? We did. I mean, by only 0.2 seconds, but well played. Okay. Okay. We can do some repairs for the vehicle. I don't, yeah, I didn't break anything there. So we can, we'll just repair the bodywork. Fantastic. All right. We're good. All right. So same circuit again, all our usual business. Let's get ready to go. And... Oh, poor start, poor start. Very slow reactions from me. Can I swing it? No, I'm not. Oh my god, that's a lot of contact. We drop all the way down to fifth. But luckily, we don't end up in the absolute chaos and ruining our body panels. I would like to not have to do a repair if I could. All right, we have to do a repair. I'm going Joker lap, lap numero uno. I don't want to get stuck in too much traffic. If I get through here quickly, oh which I just might. Look at us go, swing it on the orange guy. We take the Joker lap and we're still in first. No way. Man, this is cool though. I missed some good rally cross racing. It's been a while. Feels good to have legit Joker laps and stuff. Very, very awesome. Watch out for the puddle. Literally a walk in the park. I haven't seen any AI since the very start. I don't even know what happened there. I'm just saying, the first race, I'm pretty sure we did a 247. We just improved by 10 seconds. That is insane. All right, there we go. There is our final. Let's see. I mean, maybe we're going to get a lot more money for this. I don't know. We'll see. All right, same course once again. We got this. It's probably going to be six laps or so again. We're going to be all good. Good luck, everybody. It is a six-lap race. Let's go in the little opal. Can you do well? Oh, some guy gets a super quick start. We were actually quite slow there. We're going to get... Okay. Didn't expect them to send it around the outside so hard. Oh, look at the comeback. Look at the comeback from the little opal. Straight through the center of traffic. Blocks the racing line. Immediately onto the joker lap. Number one. 
Hopefully we can go out with clear air and we won't need to look back again. And that's exactly what happened. Let you look at that. We're good now. We're fine. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thank you first place. I want to see how much money we get for that because that was a lot of driving. I hope it actually is worth it for the money. Like there we go. Our car looking good. Look at that epic zoom <laughs> right onto the opal badge. There we go. How much do we get for that? 45 grand. Okay, so it's actually more worth it to do those than it is actually to do the rally stage stuff. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, so we can go and do some more career mode stuff, but because I don't have that much money, I wanted to come in here and do a time trial because there is one course that I do want to show off. So, I mean, when you come into here, you've actually got a really cool thing. You've got historic racing, which is like go goes through time from the very early ages of rally racing all the way to the brand new stuff. You can come and do your online stuff here, which you can do up to eight people online and do some rally races with them. That's how you do that for multiplayer and dirt rally. Time trial is where I want to go, though. And I want to go here. I want to go to USA because this place looks so, so cool. It's actually New England. Yeah, it says New England. So I wanted to come here, do a little short circuit, and jump in maybe one of, like, the Rally GT cars because they are so sick. Or, I mean, we can drive almost, almost my car. Do they have just an all blue paint? That would be per that close enough. That'll do. I mean, obviously, I would love if they had my actual old STI, the STI hatchback that I used to have back in the day. That would be awesome, but this is obviously as close as we're going to get in this particular game for right now. There's actually a lot of post-launch stuff with Dirt Rally 2.0, which is super cool. They're going to be doing, like, monthly updates, which is awesome. Anyways, let's jump straight in to the bright blue STI. That is super blue. Let's go fastest car we've driven all day let's go and away we go in the sti just look how cool it is especially ripping it through all like the orange leaves don't wreck it all right we're good we just bounce off a little wall come on oh my god this thing is so slow to react all right well i mean that was bound to happen i find this car is slow to react though i don't know if it's I got used to the Rallycross car, or I'm just used to the slow stuff, but those cars, exact- Do a barrel roll! Land it! Yes! Yeah, I don't know if it's just like the slower cars were super agile, but this thing feels heavy. I figured out why I might not be able to, um, to drive super well. I heard a funny noise coming from the rear. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised we're actually doing this well with three wheels. Like, I was not expecting to actually stay on course. Even with three wheels, though, it's pretty amazing how many slides and how much I can actually hold with this thing. Like, we're, we're drifting a car that has three wheels. Oh, I, I didn't... I thought we were going to the right, not the left. Look at us go, though. The STI didn't explode. We crossed the line in the world's slowest time ever. Oh man, that's an awesome car on an awesome stage. I love that thing. Well guys, that is where I'm gonna wrap up this video for today. That was your first look at Dirt Rally 2.0. Like I was saying, it's the latest game in the franchise, the ultimate in rally simulation. If you want to give your rally skills a test, you got a whole custom racing rig at home and want to try your hand out at some very intense rally racing, this is where you got to go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the near future. See you guys then. Bye!